Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to coding on RISCOS. In this short presentation, we will have a look at some of the differences of coding on RISCOS compared to coding on more traditional operating systems. So, what do I need to unlearn to code on RISCOS? RISCOS uses a different way to express file paths. For instance, on Linux, we would express a file path as backslash subdir backslash subdir until the file name. While on Microsoft Windows, we would use drive letter colon slash subdir slash subdir until the file name. Also, on Microsoft Windows, we have the concept of file extension to express the typology of a file. This concept on RISCOS is replaced by the concept of file type. On RISCOS, we use file system name colon colon device name dot dollar symbol dot subdir dot subdir until the file name. RISCOS addresses each file system with their own name, for instance, ADFS for the regular ICON advanced disk file system. SDFS for the Piccolo's SD card file system, SCSIFS for the old SCSI file system and for the new USB-based file system. RISCOS addresses the storage device with its name. For instance, we can name our main hard drive MyHD and the system will refer to it with that name. In other words, we are not limited to drive letters only as it happens on Microsoft Windows. On RISCOS, each directory name is separated by a dot, not a slash or a backslash. The root directory on each file system is always identified by the dollar symbol. And to refer to the current directory we are in, we use the at symbol. Putting everything together, this is how a full path name to a file called my file would look like on RISCOS. RISCOS is a single task operating system. That means its kernel has no concept of multiple processes like Windows or Linux kernels do. RISCOS kernel has no concept of threads either. It is possible to simulate multitasking using the kernel only via IRQs and callbacks mechanisms. However, the proper multiprocess and multithreading environment on RISCOS is offered by the desktop environment not by the kernel. RISCOS kernel does not enforce any behavior or provide any protection from passing not correctly populated parameters to the kernel. RISCOS file system is not reentrant and therefore all single IO requests from a user space application have to be completed synchronously. RISCOS offers a traditional multitasking environment when using the desktop and developing desktop applications. In particular, the task scheduler offered by the desktop is cooperative. RISCOS also offers some facility to execute non-desktop applications in multitasking, like for example, the task window. However, such facilities always have some limitation. RISCOS kernel only offer partial memory protection and only between user's applications. In other words, a user application cannot access the memory space of another user application. However, there is no protection between a user application and the kernel and vice versa. When making a system call on RISCOS, we usually exchange pointers to memory blocks in user space with the kernel and allow the kernel to access such memory blocks directly. In other words, there is no memory mapping mechanism or tools like copy from user, copy to user, like it happens on Linux kernel, for example, implemented by default. RISCOS API, or Application Programming Interface, is written for assembly code. That means it doesn't always respect C call conventions as it happened on Linux, macOS, or Windows. 
most of Riscos kernel is written in assembly code. That means the kernel behaves more like a BBC Micro or an MS-DOS system would. Modern RISCOS requires that pointers to data blocks passed to the kernel must contain aligned addresses. And we shall always take good care to ensure that the boundaries of a data block are never overflowed. RISCOS kernel is extremely small, so do not expect the same level of API coverage as you would normally have on Microsoft Windows macOS, Linux, or BSD. The extremely small kernel can provide some advantages, for example, lower latency when executing syscalls. The extremely small kernel also has disadvantages, for example, there is no concept of defensive programming within the RISCOS kernel, hence we must pay a lot of attention in every form of communications with the kernel. Thank you very much for watching.